we have Gigi in Florida, pronounces she, her, uh, who Gigi says she believes in God due to intuition. Is that, is that the case? Welcome, Gigi. Hi, how are you? Um, yeah, I believe in just like a deist God because of an intuition. So like, I don't try to justify it. So I just take it to be like an, ir an irrational belief, just like your, your belief that the external world exists. You can't justify, you don't know that you're talking to me right now. So aren't we just both on like, I'm not guilty of anything you aren't. So how would you argue against that? Except that in order for the two of us to have a conversation, I'm, I necessarily need to be correct about there being an external world. Um, and everything that I do every single day uh, is interacting with this external world that I experience. I can't prove that I'm not in a matrix. I can't, I can't solve the problem of hard solipsism. But a, I, I know uh, that if I try to pretend that I'm not experiencing the real world or the, the world I experience, if I try to go in opposition to it, that's bad for me. Like I don't, I can't just put my hand on the stove and not get burnt if it's on. I can't cross a busy intersection and not get hit by cars. I've been damaged by the real world. So while I don't have a problem for hard solipsism, the acceptance of an external world is pretty much a necessity, and uh, not you know you can't prove it a hundred percent because you're stuck. But that doesn't mean that it's irrational. All of the evidence that I have points to an external world. What evidence is there beyond intuition that points to a God of any sort? And in this case, you're, you're talking about a deistic God, which means you've intuited that which is non-intuitable because a deistic God does not intervene in, in reality in any detectable way. So there's nothing that you could detect. So how is your intuition of a deistic God anything more than wishing there was a God? Well, an intuition is just uh, to accept a proposition without that you don't have a defeater for without justification. And I don't see how I'm in any... For, first of all, I didn't say that it was irrational for you to believe in the external world. I'm just saying that you don't know it. And all that things... All, no, 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 I do know it. About it. No, 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 here's the thing, Gigi. I wait, do know it. Knowledge does not require certainty. Uh, how can you... How much knowledge does, have evidence for it that doesn't answer the question? I'm sorry. Knowledge does not require certainty. I have a belief that is rationally justified by actual evidence that I experience. There's no solution to the problem of hard solipsis. But that doesn't mean that accepting that I live in a world interacting with you and others is on the same evidentiary footing as a deistic God. I, I'm not intuiting the external world. I am actively experiencing it and testing it. Well, that's that's uh, begging the question right there, but because uh, I'm asking you how. No, there's nothing that begs the question. There's nothing that begs the question there, I, right. because I'm not declaring What's that I am question? absolutely no, no. I'm not declaring that I am absolutely certain that the external world that I experience is in fact an external world and is in fact absolutely real. The, the fact that there's no path to absolute certainty. And the fact that we cannot dispute yeah, hard solipsism does not, does not, does yeah. not, does not, does not fucking mean that we're begging the question when we believe that the world we interact with is real. Uh, I was going to address the certainty thing. You just, you cut me off. Certainty is just a level of confidence. That's a I didn't cut you off. I didn't cut you off, Gigi. <laughs> Gigi, now you're muted. I didn't cut you off. You interrupted before I was done. That's what actually happened. Let's be honest about this. Now, if you intuit a God, what is the justification? If, if, if all you need is intuition, can your intuition be wrong? And what's the likelihood that it's wrong on any given proposition? Well, I don't think that we have access to how uh, likely or unlikely a deist God is because it's an unfalsifiable hypothesis. So, Then why would you believe anything uh, that's unfalsifiable? I, you're not letting me talk you keep interrupting me yeah i know that's that's part of it being on my show when um, you make a statement and i have an objection or need clarification i interrupt to get the objection or clarification not, I, there I don't understand because otherwise you just get to keep talking and your 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 nonsense doesn't get rejected 
I don't understand how you could claim to know the external world exists. What kind of justification could you have? Please don't interrupt me. What kind of justification, sir, could you have? That now you're muted. I was sitting here quietly and patiently. Jim, by the way, hasn't said a word. I um, don't really need to at this point. And <laughs> now you decided to get all snarky about don't interrupt me. Here's yeah. the thing. Accepting that there's an external world that you interact with is an axiom that is a matter of necessity because otherwise you die. Otherwise, if you think that you're not interacting with reality, you're going to get hit by the bus. You're going to take point. Now, yes, everything that I'm saying comes in through my sense data and I cannot demonstrate conclusively to you or me or anybody else that I'm not living in some sort of matrix. But I'm talking about the rules of the matrix that I experience and you are asking me what evidence I have. And the evidence of that is experience and testable. It is, if, if, if reality isn't subject to experiential evidence, then what you're saying is, you know that nothing can be known and nothing can be rationally justified. Now, if your position is that nothing can be known and nothing can be, we have a disagreement about what knowledge and rational justification is. But what it means is, yes, your position on a deistic God is no more or less rational than any position on anything because you've thrown out rationality. Oh, you hung up. No. Yeah. I, so the reality that I experience is remarkably consistent and remarkably testable. And so there are a number of claims that I can test. And as long as the, the test is repeatable, uh, then we can pretty much conclude that that is true because it's in concordance with reality, the reality that I experience. Dropping a pencil, things orbiting, all that kind of good stuff, everything that, that we know. Intuition, on the other hand, is also testable, but it's testable and does not show a good valid pathway to truth. You cannot intuit yourself into understanding quantum physics, for instance. Um, you can't intuit yourself into understanding a whole lot of things. Uh, you know, back in the 17, 1800s, they believed that frogs came from mud. Why? Because they saw frogs jump out of mud. And so they thought mud somehow created frogs. That, of course, is completely wrong. How'd they do that? Intuition. intuition. Uh, and simple observation. They didn't observe well enough what was actually going on. Uh, that, that frogs are laying eggs, et cetera, et cetera. This, this is, intuition is not a good pathway to truth in the world that at least I experience. Um, I don't know about you, Matt, um, but yeah, intuition just, it, it, it's not a good pathway to truth in, a, in a, a reality that we experience that is testable repeatably for almost everything we know fundamentally. Yeah. So for, for clarity, for those people who might not have followed along on all this, um, the problem of hard solipsism is how do you show that reality is real and how do you show that logic is reliable? And we can't. Um, identity, non-contradiction, excluded middle, those are axioms that we just have to accept that we can never prove because in trying to disprove them, you would have to assume that they were true and you would end up in a contradiction. And without them, there's no problem with a contradiction. So all of rationality falls apart. When, when it comes to the real world, if your position is, as Gigi's was, that you believe in some God as a, as merely by intuition and that this is no less rational than my belief that the external world exists, we're no longer operating in the same realm because my belief that the external world exists is only held to the degree of confidence that I can demonstrate. If you show me that I'm living in a matrix, I'll accept that. Um, but it's, it's the default one because if you stop believing in reality and start thinking I can cross the street through traffic and I can drink poison and uh, all these other things, you will cease to exist. Now, the response to that is you don't know that. That's just what your experience tells you. Yes. But I think hopefully that there's a difference between experience and intuition. Because at the end of the day, Gigi's position is denial of any reality, any reason, 
Because if you hold that your intuitive belief that there's a non-interventionist deistic God that is definitionally untestable and does not manifest in reality in any detectable way is on equal footing to things that do appear to, at least appear to manifest in reality, then you're nuts. I mean, you have sacrificed all of reason and that's fine, but it doesn't mean that your God belief, your deist belief is on its is on footing. I mean, at least I can point to independent confirmation. Yes, it's still coming through my senses. I can point to what I'm experiencing. Yes, it's still coming through my senses. Um, but you can't even point to anything coming through your senses. It's just an intuition. Well, I don't give a shit about intuition. Intuition doesn't prove anything ever. That's not how we do stuff. Science doesn't rely on intuition. Science does, however, rely on the presupposition that reality exists and that we share it so that I can go and investigate something and report to Jim. Jim can investigate it, report to me. We can then share our results and have other people report it. To simply say, well, you know, you can't prove reality is real. Now you're, now you're in complete time waster mode. Not only is Gigi's God useless, irrelevant, uh, pathetic, uh, the deistic God is not even worth discussing because it's not going to matter. Its existence or non-existence doesn't impact our reality in any way. But if you want to try and claim that you intuited a deistic God and that this is on equal footing with people's actual direct experience of reality, yeah, you don't know what you're talking about.